My role within the industry is that I'm an agronomist and cropping manager for Paspali Rural, based in Coola, which is in central New South Wales. I've um, been in that part of the world for about 14 years now, and um, my role with Paspali is quite diverse. So I'm not just based at Coola, but I also go into uh, other areas in New South Wales, including Bathurst, Scone, uh, Mudgee. I've had exposure to southern New South Wales in Wagga, and I've also have a family property at Lake Angelico. So I think the geographical spread that my role has given me over the last 14 years has uh, given me a great exposure to issues and what happens in, in the north. Um, I'm very passionate about the grains industry. Growing up on a family farm as a little boy and coming through the ranks, I suppose, getting my hands dirty, getting dust on my boots, to now being more in the corporate space, I've seen both sides of the story. It's a great space to be in, it's a great industry to be involved in. Other opportunities is to further develop our technology in terms of cropping technology, herbicide technology, uh, the pathology that we use, the etymology that we're exposed to within the systems, that further development from all facets that goes into growing a crop is the opportunities are endless and the scientists we've got involved in the grains research industry and also the extension people that we've got I believe are second to none in the world. So that's a great space for me as an agronomist but also as a grower to have those people surrounding me. Some of the threats that I see uh, and challenges for the grains industry in particular, the challenge of where we go to now with our zero-till system. It's been so resilient in terms of providing us with that ability to store plant available water, to reduce erosion, to allow us to grow cro crops with confidence. But now we've got this conundrum where we're seeing herbicide resistance. So the, the one thing that's given us that opportunity to leverage that and the ability us, for us to grow crops and store soil, soil moisture, but that being herbicides, are starting to break down in the system. So that's a huge challenge to us as growers, advisors and also researchers to how do we combat that problem to still make our system sustainable and also profitable. I don't think there's any one important role. I think we're the, we're the glue that brings what happens in the paddock in terms of growers issues and priorities and we can then be the conduit for the researchers and have that link in between. So researchers are getting actually real world questions and real world, world problems to them. They do the research. We oversee that research and make sure it's sticking to the charter. But then the really important thing is making sure that that research is then brought back through really good extension to the grower in the field so he can make it applicable to his farm and business. It's almost like having a toolkit on the shed, in the, in the tool shed, being able to pull that tool off and leverage in his farming system when he needs to use that, 